Nina. Thanks so much for joining me. I have a fun project to share with you today for Simon Says Stamp, and I'm going to be featuring the new Marion Bright card kit from Simon Says Stamp. This is their December card kit, and it includes a ton of really great products that I think you're going to be very excited about. Before we get started, I'm going to show you what you get in the kit. You get the beginner Chibitronics light set, this adorable Merry and Bright stamp set with the really cute reindeer and the Christmas tree. I think it's really, really sweet. There's also a bunch of pattern papers from Doodlebug, a bunch of really fun patterns and designs, bright, happy colors, perfect for Christmas cards, and there's a few other patterns in here as well that could be used for things other than Christmas. You're also going to get two envelopes. One is the Simon's the Stamp V-Flap envelopes, which are brand new, and then the other is the mini gift card envelopes. You also get some Doodlebug stickers and sprinkles, and then also some Simon's the Stamp card stocks. You've got Schoolhouse Red, Green Apple, Surf Blue, White, and also a piece of Simon's the Stamp vellum. So for my project today, I'm going to be creating the ornament that you see on the right-hand side. I also have a video showing how I created the ornament on the left. I'll have it linked at the end of the video, so you can go ahead and check out that ornament as well. These ornaments are very easy to create. They're all done with paper folding, so it's really fun and also a really easy way to be able to create some fun gifts that you can use for giving as holiday gifts to your friends and family or to use to decorate your own home for the holiday season. This ornament here features a really fun scalloped edge design and I also used one of the Simon Says Stamp new snowflake dies to add a bit of fun detail to this ornament as well. So to get started, I'm going to be bringing out my Big Shot machine. I've got the base platform, I've got the metal adapter plate and a cutting plate. I'm grabbing one of the pattern papers and this scalloped circle die from Lawn Fawn. I'm going to cut the paper with this scalloped die. I'm going to cut it a total of four times. So you can see here I've got these really great scallop circles and we're going to need a total of 12 scallop circles in all. So I'm going to go ahead and continue cutting these out. I not only cut out the little snowflake pattern with that scallop, but I'm also cutting out this red piece of paper as well. I'm going to cut again four of this design, and I'm also going to cut a total of four from the blue cardstock as well. Once I have all my pieces die cut, you can see here I've got my collection of little scallop circles. I'm going to now go ahead and start scoring these to create the folds that I'll need to be able to build my ornament together. For the scoring, I'm using my Martha Stewart mini scoreboard, and I've got a little stylus here, but you can use any type of stylus that you want. I'm going to line this up onto my scoring board. I'm going to make sure I get the score line to go right between two scallops. So that way it will fold nicely and evenly, and the scallops will line up perfectly. So I'll go ahead and score all of these pieces of paper, and then we're going to go ahead and fold them. So I'm going to continue doing this until I have all of these pieces ready to go. Now that I have all 12 of my scallop circles scored, I'm going to start adhering them together. You can see here I've already adhered these two, and we're using these to create our little round ornament. So to do this, all I'm doing is I'm adding some adhesive onto one side of the score line. I'm going to attach that scallop circle to another scallop circle. I'm going to continue building up these scallop circles one on top of each other, always adhering them down to the next scallop circle, and this is going to end up being able to meet around to each other to create an ornament. So I'm, as I add more, this is going to fill in this ornament and it's going to create a really cool circle design. Because we did all the score lines right in the center between two scallops, this allows us to make sure that these scallop circles will line up perfectly as we're gluing these together. So I don't have to worry about anything being off center. These are going to line up perfectly because we did that scoring ahead of time and planned out where the score lines were going to be. So that helped us as we go ahead to start building this ornament. Once I've attached all the pieces, I'm attaching the last one here, I'm going to now go ahead and bring in my bow wire. The bow wire is going to be what I use to hang the ornament, but you can go ahead and use any type of hanging element that you want to use for your ornaments. I'm going to string the bow wire down the center of my ornament, and I fold it in half so that way I have two ends up at the top, and that will allow me to be able to tie this then so we can use this as the hanger for our ornament. So I'll go ahead and sandwich that little bow wire inside of our ornament. And here you can see we've got our ornament halfway finished and it's already looking really cool. Now, bear in mind, you can keep this ornament looking just like this. You don't have to go any further if you don't want to. However, I really like to dress things up and I think really adding extra details to these ornaments 
just gives them that extra bit of something that really makes them stand out. So one of those extra bits of some things that I'm going to add is I'm going to add some glitter. So to add the glitter to the edges of this ornament, because I thought this would give it a really neat frosted look, I'm using a sponge brush and I'm going to dab the glue along the edges of my ornament. And I'm being kind of messy with it because I want this to have a little bit more of a distressed look. I don't want it to be perfect. So you can see in some spots, I'm really kind of getting some globs of glue and I'm smearing it in towards the center of the ornament. And I really like that because it adds just that little bit of extra something to the ornament and helps it have not so much of a perfect look, which I really like. I'm bringing in some beautiful white glitter from Nuvo. I really love this color of glitter. I think this one's called Glitter Diamond. And I'm sprinkling this over top of all the glue that we've applied to the edges of our ornament. And as this dries, this is going to create a really gorgeous glittery, crusty look to the edges of the ornament, make it almost look like it's been frosted. I really, really love it. So I'm going to continue adding glue to the edges of my ornament until I have glue and glitter applied to all the edges of the scalp circles. Next, I'm going to die cut a bunch of snowflakes. I used a total of 12 from some white cardstock that's also included in the kit. I'm going to add some liquid glue to two ends of the snowflake and I'm going to adhere this to the inside of our ornaments in between each of the scallop circles. As I attach this down, because we only stuck the glue on the two ends, this is going to allow the center to remain reliefed off of the ornament and it's not going to be glued flat down. So it's going to give this ornament a little bit more dimension. And I think this really fills it in nicely and adds that really delicate feel. And I think it really just dresses up the ornament perfectly. I also tied a bit of ribbon to the bow wire that I had attached to the ornament. That just dresses it up again a little bit more, but if you want to just go ahead and use the bow wire by itself, you definitely could go ahead and do that. So I'm going to continue adding in all of these little ornaments in between each of the scallop circles until I have all 12 of the snowflakes attached down to the ornament. So that's going to finish up this ornament. I think this was really fun to create and I think it's fun to see that you can create so many different types of things with your Simon's Escape card kits other than just cards. So I encourage you to check out the card kit. Supplies are limited so make sure you get yours now while they're still available. I'll have links to the card kit in the video description and also at my blog so make sure you check that out. And don't forget I also created another ornament using this card kit the one on the left there, it's a really fun paper folding ball. It really is very easy to create and I'll show you exactly how I did it. So if you want to see that, go ahead and click on the video here on the screen. I also have another video on here featuring another Simon Says Stamp card kit. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and head on over to my blog for more information. And you can also connect with me on social media at Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, as well as my blog. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.